Another great player who proved his greatness in a way during the week uh, is uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. He was playing poorly for Madrid over the two legs, actually. Um, again, in in their game against Bayern Munich in their tie against Bayern Munich, yet he scored the five goals uh, that Madrid got. Um, he's he's amazing. I mean, I've been critical of his, yeah. you know, his temperament and his. Um, his what should we call it um, vanity yeah. uh, narcissism is probably a good word uh, but there is no getting away from his genius as a goal scorer yeah. is there no it's, it's unbelievable I mean and I'd be like you I was just as critical as you were because of his attitude in certain games especially for Manchester United mm. where he was throwing his hands up I was at a, ma- a live match one time where he crossed the ball and he crossed it too far over to the far side of the pitch and there was nobody there and he throws his hands up it took him 10 minutes to walk back to the, the complaining to the, to the fans. And yeah. I thought this was awful. I hate anybody doing that. Yeah. And he's been like that all his career, really. I, I don't get, like, I think they were booing him at Real Madrid, the crowd the other day. I'd say they admire him, they respect him, but they don't like him. Yeah. He's not a likable individual because it's always about himself. But when it comes on the pitch, he is a scoring phenomenon. Yeah. He's unbelievable. And he, he, I'd say I never regarded him as a great player when he was doing the up to his antics. But he have, he'd have to go down in my opinion, as a great player. The three goals he scored the other night: one with his right foot, yeah. one with his left foot, one with his head. But yeah. well, that's without playing well, Eamon. Yeah, you know, like there's a lot of the match, you'd be saying, "What is he doing there? What is he doing there?" And next thing, he's scoring three goals, or four goals, or five goals in the two thing. Yeah. So you'd have to live with him. I think that's where Ferguson was great. Yeah. Ferguson lived with him because of what he was getting from him. Yeah. You know, I, I know if I was manager of Manchester, I would have said no, which is ridiculous. I wouldn't have him. Yeah. Because he's not playing. He's not playing for the team. But yeah. because of the goals that he scored, he's a phenomenal name, and he has to go down as one of the greats. There's yeah. no doubt about that. Liam, you were a bit of a prima donna, but you were nothing like <laughs> Ronaldo. Um, he is amazing, isn't he? Oh, incredible! Yeah, incredible. Like the, the goal he got in Munich, the first goal he got in Munich was a uh, uh, walk of art. As you say, you don't see him. He's like a, a cobra. You know, you, you think he's asleep, or you think he's not interested in bang. It's in the back of the net, and he did the same in the Bernabeu the other night. So. I think he looks a bit sharper. I think in the Euros he was playing with an injury and he was very sluggish, but he still delivered quite a few goals in that, and particularly against Wales. I think he was uh, he was the match winner against Wales in the quarter or the semi final, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so uh, he, he he always seems to deliver as much as you can't uh, you know like him very much because, as you say, he's so he's so into himself. Uh, as they say, he was, if he was chocolate, he would have eaten himself a long time ago. But uh, uh, he, he is, he is something, something else. As John said, and I think mean, the word is, is, is quite apt. He's a phenomenon. Yeah, and uh, for any of our listeners who uh, like to see these great players, um, the Classico, the Spanish Classico, is on on Sunday night at seven on Sky Television. And although both. Those clubs are fading forces, uh, and indeed, uh, even Zidane is under some pressure at Real Madrid because they're not really performing uh, uh, to the standard expected. It should still be a fantastic game.